when we were doing some research and I was moving around, um, one of the things that I realized that there was always an issue for construction materials on the job site. And that was always a problem. And when building this house, I mean, you know, that that it, it, it stayed in my head based off of what a friend of mine told me. And subsequently, uh, I started doing some research. And when doing some research, um, he also explained to me is that, you know, guys in the music business, he felt like were one of the first people in technology. And when we would say that is, I mean, you know, a very strong fake phrase that's used in technology is fail fast. Yeah. And um, so everybody, you know, they've written books about it and so forth. Well, that was something that you learned organically early in the music industry. And it was called a single. You would put a single out. If it worked, then you put out an album. If it didn't work, then you put out another single before you put out that album. <laughs> uh. Then later on, we had the same feeling when it came down to mixtapes, because what we would do is put out mixtapes. And if the mixtape was hot, then you put out an album. So we were always testing the market and adjusting to the market. And so he felt like that was a natural thing for us. Um, and the other portion about that is that even in technology, what we did was early on, we were unhooking speakers and plugging up mixers and scratching and doing all these other things that were really, you know what I'm saying, a part of a technology scene, but really not acknowledging it because we were always still calling it music. But it was technology. And, uh, and creativity. You know, Technology. Like, who, like you're not just using it, you're finding out a way to use it in a different way than it, than it was intended. And that's exactly right. And so that's why, you know, he was always very strong um, in pushing in that direction. And I just started to decide to take a lot of that information, a lot of things that I learned to apply to technology. And um, that's been my driver and force. And, you know, one of the things that even excited me when I was reading those articles um, about technology is I started understanding market share. And a lot of the things um, that actually went on in the music business, I mean, you know, we would have to come up with promotional items and based off how many records you sold, um, determined what those promotional items price would be to give to those customers. It was similar to your customer acquisition costs, right? Because you're still trying yeah. to grab more customers and a lot of those things, right? And then you talk about lifetime value. Um, when you would do that, you want to approach kids when they were in middle school, they were much more impressionable and they would grow old with you and go through middle school, high school and on to college, which gave you a long career um, in the music business. So, you know, there were a lot of things that you would see um, that I was able to correlate when technology and it, and it was exciting. So that really gave me the ability to understand technology from a different perspective, being a non-tech founder.